Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to Working at Change. Today we're going to be talking about vasectomies. I don't even have anything clever to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Appreciate you. Mama made me mash my M&Ms. Okay. <clears throat> From Miss H. Hannah Pearl Davis herself. But I find it itch. Okay, so before we even start this, this whole thing started off because Pearl posted a list of what men should do. She said something about facetomies, uh, um, shoe on head, got on to the conversation and said that it's crazy that we would ever call it, tell anybody to um, get vasectomies. And so that's, and then they went, they did a little bit of back and forth and Pearl did a little bit of, you know how Pearl is when she gets to the tweeting. She tweets like there ain't nothing else to do in life. Uh, and here we are. So, but I just find it really interesting how we shame men for vasectomies. But if you tell a woman to get on birth control at 18, it's not seen as mutilation or extreme. Giving women the power of reproduction is seen as normal, but putting, uh, but putting in the power of men is seen as extreme. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Flickledorf. Just kidding, guys. I don't disagree with uh, what Hannah was saying here. Um, it is crazy that a vasectomy is seen as crazy, but birth control is not. I agree with that because y'all know where I'm at on this fence. I don't think you should get a vasectomy nor do birth control. You got to let, if you're going to have sex, baby, you got to live with the consequences and the consequences aren't bad. Like children are supposed to be a gift, but they're not seen as a gift, but we're, we're, we're fine with having sex to just have pleasure with each other. Um, but not want to have the consequences of having a kid as if it's going to ruin our lives. I understand having a kid can be financially burdening. Um, but if you don't want that life, don't have sex. You should wait till marriage until making a family it makes the point. I'm sorry. I know that's what I believe. And I know some people want me to be like, oh, but that's not realistic. Don't care. A lot of stuff isn't realistic. A lot of people do stuff that I disagree with. People do stuff that you disagree with. But that doesn't mean I have to accept it. I don't I don't waver on that. You should never have birth control. You should never have a vasectomy. And there's no reason for why we should look at a vasectomy at the same reason and then say birth control is okay, but a vasectomy is crazy. No, both of them are contraceptives. Both of them are foolish. The only reason a person would take birth control is to not have children. The only reason a man should get a vasectomy is not to not have children. Both people are living in a complete fear. Men are afraid to have a baby with a woman because they're afraid she's going to leave. I mean, based on off the red pill talk, men are not having babies because they feel like it's going to, they're going to get stuck with the woman, right? And then when you get stuck with it, now you got to pay child support until they're 18 years old. Okay, cool. Same thing with a woman taking birth control. No one wants to have a baby because they don't want their lives to be ruined, right? But you're doing stuff to make it ruined. It's like, it's like to me, it's just like, I always hated the birth, I mean, <laughs> birth control, vasectomies i've never been for it obviously because once again yeah my bias is coming from my catholic faith as well but to be fair i don't even know how to say like from a logical standpoint i know from even <laughs> to me it's like my faith has always been within me but let's just say it from a logical standpoint i will say this like to me even if you're not a person of faith you're not a person of religion just hear me out Do you think that it is not selfish to take a contraceptive, use a contraceptive such as a condom or have a vasectomy? Do you not feel that? And just hear me out. Do you not feel that selfish? You are literally trying to stop a production of a child. Why? Because you don't want it to ruin your life. Right. As a woman, you don't want to pay child support as a man. Would this be an issue if you were married to the woman? Would you be as scared of having a baby if you were married? If so. If you're if you're married to somebody and you're still using contraceptives because you don't want to have a baby because y'all don't want to stop living y'all's life or in this case, a man saying the child support thing be weird, but it's possible. I would still find that weird. So you're doing everything in the world, even while you're married, not to have something that's natural. You don't want to have a baby. what to live your life to be free then why get married in the first place now i'm talking to people who can have children this is a different conversation when somebody cannot have children right somebody's trying to have children but they can't it's a completely different conversation that's that's another conversation we're not talking we're talking about contraceptives which is to avoid that so why get married if that wasn't the purpose right i think to me that's selfish 
Um, once again, I talk about this all the time when it comes to sacrifices. Not being able, not trying to have a baby, but you want to have all the fun. You want to have your cake and eat too. You want to have all the sex in the world, do all that pleasure, doing all that cleanup, just and then still avoid having a child because we're in love and all that kind of stuff. I absolutely understand that because, like I said, push to the side for people who can't have kids where they wanted to try couldn't happen okay then for you guys sex is a different thing i mean even if, if you could have a baby you would you're not trying to avoid having a baby it's a different story if you're not trying to avoid it when you're trying to avoid bringing life into this world versus you can't bring life into this world that way those are two different things because if that means if you had the option to have a kid you absolutely would your wife just can't have one or the man for some reason can't do it that way that's completely different from what i'm trying to say I'm talking about some people who avoid having a child. They don't want to have a child. They don't want to bring life into this world. They just want to have each other. To me, that is not a reason to get married. That, that to me, would be a selfish reason to get married because you're trying to avoid having a child. You're doing everything. You're putting drugs in your body. You're having surgeries. And men are using condoms. They're using everything to avoid it. To me, that's just a selfish reason to ever get married or have anybody. Right? Disagree if you want. That's fine. That's what I believe. And so it is insane for people to be like, oh, it's insane for a guy to get a vasectomy because it's irreversible. But women are doing the same thing with birth control. You cannot praise women for taking birth control and then get on top of men if they want to have a vasectomy. Both are contraceptives. I know one is irreversible the main, where the man may never have children again. But birth control has serious effects too. But women don't care about that as long as they don't have a baby. Right. I think both. Are, I think both are foolish. Why don't we have the same energy for both? I don't understand this world that we live in where women do get to have birth control. And then if that doesn't work, they get to terminate and they don't find that evil determination, nor do they find it wrong for the birth control in the first place. So you take the birth control to not to have the baby only to if you do have the baby, you take the baby's life. It's like, come on now. That doesn't make any sense to me. You're doing everything in the world to not have one of the greatest gifts a parent can have why why are kids seeing like you, you you knew you know you were a baby at one time too right you understand that right so i don't understand why people make it seem like a baby is just a burden like they can't grow up to be something they can't grow up to have any impact on the world they can't grow up to be anything they're just a baby to you and that's it they're not human life they're not something you can merit they're not something you can grow they're not something you can love. They're not something that's important. They're just a baby, a burden, a failure. It's like that's that's the disgusting way to look at children. And you can tell by the way we look at children by what's going on today, how hard we're having to fight for kids today. People are quick to fight for kids when it comes to other stuff, right? When it comes to just sick and disgusting stuff, and you know what I'm talking about, such as like CP and stuff. Fight for the children. That's disgusting. But when it's a baby, it's like, uh, what are they? Huh? We just ripped them to shreds. So, yeah, I rarely did. I rarely agree with Hannah because, once again, I do not like Hannah. But I'm not. I'm not so in my pride that if she says something I agree with, that I'll just avoid it. No, no, no. I do agree that both are extreme. We should look at both of them the same. Now, let me say this too. I don't know where Hannah is on this because Hannah would never talk to me because I'm not a big enough YouTuber. You know, I'm just a small minion out here. If I ever get big enough, trust me, I will have an interview with Hannah. And I got a whole bunch of questions I'm willing to ask her. And she can ask me anything she wants. If I ever get the chance, I would love to interview her because I have a lot of dang questions. But I'm not big enough. That's fair. Haven't put in the work, I guess. Um, I would like to ask her, are you saying is, is it OK? Are you saying it's OK for men to get vasectomies? Or are you simply arguing that it shouldn't be looked at as a stream if birth control is it? I agree with you there. But if you're saying it's OK, oh, man, we're about to we also about to have a big disagreement on that. Right. And once again, Pearl's Catholic like I'm Catholic. So if she says that if she says the vasectomy is OK. There's, there's obviously issues with that. And I would have to take issue with that. Don't call yourself that and then say, OK, I'm cool with it because we know. We aren't. OK, so anyway, that's how I feel. Feel how you feel. OK.
my friend. Okay, I'll, I'll, if you want to see how I react to uh, more of this, I'm going to give more of my opinion after this video. Just go to the live stream. Peace.